Hello students. Today we discuss the topic which is related to design of belt drive and uh, here we solve one example and understand the design procedure of belt drive. First I read the example that is problem statement. A pulley of 1000 mm diameter is driven by an open type flat belt from a 20 kilowatt 1440 rpm electric motor the pulley on the motor shaft is 300 mm in diameter and the center distance between the two shafts is 2 meter the allowable tensile stress for the belt material is 2 newton per mm square and the coefficient of friction between the belt and pulley is 0.28. The density of the belt material is 900 kg per meter cube. If the width of the belt is 125 mm, determine first the thickness of belt, second the length of the belt and third the initial tension required in the belt. Now we solve this numerical. First point out the given data. The diameter of pulley which is having big size which is indicated with capital D letter and the size is 1000 mm. Then power to be transmitted is 20 kilowatt. Speed is related to motor shaft that is pulley small pulley n is equal to 1440 rpm which is indicated with small n symbol small d that is diameter of pulley on motor shaft which is equal to 300 mm c is equal to center distance between two shafts sigma t is called as allowable tensile stress for belt material which is given as 2 Newton per mm square mu is coefficient of friction between belt and pulley rho is called as density of belt material that is 900 kilogram per meter cube then width of belt material is 125 mm now if we see the diagram the small size pulley and big size pulley is shown here center to center distance is C and uh, T is indicated in this diagram this T is thickness of the belt now in step number one we want to find this thickness T so here we finally use one relation that is sigma T is equal to total tension in tight side of belt divided by width of belt into thickness of belt from this relation here we will get the value of thickness t and this is the final relation which we want to use in this step now for calculating the total tension in tight side of belt that is indicated with ft1 we see the formula ft1 is equal to f1 plus fc where f1 is effective tension in tight side of belt and fc is centrifugal tension in belt in newton now when we find out f1 and fc then we get the value of ft1 for getting the value of f1 we use power relation that is power is equal to f1 minus f2 into v divided by 1000 this is equation number b power is available that is 20 kilowatt and in this relation f2 is called as effective tension in slack side of belt that is in newton v is linear speed of belt in meters per second now for finding out linear speed 
we have one relation that is v is equal to pi into d into n divided by 60 into 1000. Therefore, here we substitute the value of d and n which is related to small size pulley. So, v is equal to pi into 300 into 1440 divided by 60 into 1000. After calculating this, we get the answer of 22.62 meters per second. Now, if we look at the equation number B, we already have the value of power that is 20 kilowatt. Now we get the value of V that is 22.62 meters per second. And here F1 and F2 are the two unknowns. Now we substitute the P and V value in equation number P. So after sol uh, substituting the values, we get the relation that is 20 is equal to in bracket F1 minus F2 into 22.62 divided by 1000. This 1000 we take on left side that is 20 into 1000 is equal to F1 minus F2 into 22.62. Therefore, F1 minus F2 is equal to 884.17 Newton. This is equation number C. Now, in this C equation, there are two unknowns. So, we need one more relation. Then only we, ca uh, we can solve this F1 and F2. So, in case of belts, we have one more relation that is F1 upon F2 is equal to e raised to mu theta. We give this equation number D. In this equation, this mu is called as coefficient of friction between belt and pulley, which is already given, that is 0 0.28. This theta is called as angle of contact, or it is also called as angle of lap. And here, in this equation, we need to substitute this theta in radians. For solving this theta, we have one relation that is theta is equal to pi minus 2 alpha, where alpha we get this alpha value that is alpha is equal to sine inverse of in bracket capital D minus small d divided by 2 into center to center distance c. We give this equation number E. Explanation of these symbols are again given here that is T is pulley diameter which is big size pulley 1000 mm which is available small d is pulley diameter of uh, at motor shaft which is also available that is 300 mm and C is center to center distance that is 2000 mm. So all three values are available in equation number E. So here we get easily get the value of alpha. So we substitute all these values in this equation. So alpha is equal to sine inverse of 1000 minus 300 divided by 2 into 2000. Therefore, after solving, we get alpha is equal to 11.20 degrees. But we want the theta in terms of radians. So we convert this into radians. So 11.20 into pi divided by 180 is equal to 0 0.195 radians. We substitute this alpha in theta equation. So theta is equal to pi minus 2 alpha, which is equal to pi minus 2 into 0.195, which is equal to pi minus 0.39 and theta is equal to 2.75 radians. Now, we see equation number D that is F1 upon F2 is equal to e raised to mu theta. And here we have the values of mu and theta also. Now, we can get easily the relation between F1 and F2. So, F1 upon F2 is equal to 2.16. Therefore, F1 is equal to 2.16 into F2. We give this is equation number F. Now, we have two equations and two unknowns in case of F1 and F2. So, 
from equation C and equation F we see two equations and substitute this equation number uh, that is F that is F1 is equal to 2.16 into F2 in equation number C and we get the values or equation as 2.16 into F2 minus F2 is equal to 884.17 so as F2 is there therefore we easily subtract this so 1.16 into F2 is equal to 884.17 we take 1.16 on right side so F2 is equal to 884.17 divided by 1.16 after solving F2 is equal to 762.2 Newton so now here we get the value of F2 that is uh, the effective tension in slack side of belt we substitute in equation number F therefore F1 is equal to 2.16 into 762.2 therefore F1 is equal to 1646.35 Newton and here we get second force also that is F1 is equal to effective tension in tight side of belt now we get the value of F, uh, F1 and now we want the, to calculate the centrifugal force Fc we know or we have one relation that is Fc is equal to m into v square where m is called as mass of the belt per unit length this is in kilograms per meter v is linear speed which is already calculated in above step that is 22.62 meters per second now for finding out Fc we need to calculate mass we know the basic relation of mass that is mass is equal to density into volume we use this relation here so m is equal to rho into volume is b upon 1000 into t upon 1000 into 1 as b and t is in mm so we convert this into meters so we divide by 1000 we substitute the values of rho that is 900 so our equation is m is equal to 900 into 125 upon 1000 into t upon 1000 into 1 therefore m is equal to 0 0.1125 into t as the thickness is unknown so we get this mass in terms of thickness t this is equation number h now the next step is substituting the mass and v that is speed in equation number g and we get fc is equal to m into v square so fc is equal to 0 0.1125 into t into 22.62 bracket square now centrifugal force fc is equal to 57.56 into t this is equation number h now substitute f1 and fc in equation number 1 uh, where we get ft1 it is total tension in tight side of belt so ft1 is equal to f1 plus fc so substituting the values of f1 and fc ft1 is equal to 1646.35 plus 57.56 into t this is equation number second also allowable tensile stress that is sigma t is equal to ft1 upon b into t as i already tell you previously that this is our main equation which gives us the thickness t so we substitute all the values in this equation so sigma t is 2 we substitute here which is equal to ft1 which already calculated now this is equation number 2 we directly substitute here so 1646.35 plus 57.56 into t divided by b value is also available so 125 into t is unknown so only unknown is t now we can easily find out the thickness uh, value from here so we take 125 into t on left side so 2 into 125 into t which is equal to 1646.35 plus 57.56 into t 
after calculation 250 into t minus 57.56 into t is equal to 1646.35 therefore 192.44 into t is equal to 1646.35 so t is equal to 1646.35 divided by 192.44 and finally, T is equal to 8.56 millimeter. This is our first answer. Now, step second to calculate the length of belt. For calculating the length of belt, we have the relation L is equal to 2 into center distance plus pi into big size diameter plus small size pulley diameter divided by 2 plus in bracket big size pulley diameter capital T minus small size pulley diameter small d bracket square divided by 4 into center distance c substituting all the values all the values available here so which is equal to l uh, that is 2 into 2000 plus pi into bracket 1000 plus 300 divided by 2 plus in bracket 1000 minus 300 bracket square divided by 4 into 2000 so which is equal to 4000 plus 2042.03 plus 61.25 after addition we get L is equal to 6103.28 which is nearly equal to 6104 millimeter this is our answer second in step 3 we find out initial tension in belt so for initial tension Fi is equal to F1 plus F2 plus 2 into Fc divided by 2. This is equation number 3. Where F1 is effective tension in tight side of belt. Then F2 is effective tension in slack side of belt. And Fc is centrifugal force. All the values are available. So we substitute all the values and finding out the last answer that is fi is equal to 1646.35 plus 762.2 plus 2 into 492.71 divided by 2 so fi is equal to 1696.99 newton this is final answer that is answer number third in this way we design this belt thank you